All right, so um, my new parts have arrived, um, and so I am going to uh, attempt to put the print NC um, Z axis on the machine. So this is the main body of the print NC um, Z axis. So I've got it all greased up and ready to go. Uh, so I'll get that assembled. I'll do that in a time lapse here so you can kind of see that. Um, I'll pull the existing uh, Z-axis off um, and I will start some assembly. So basically, <clears throat> we'll pull down this part of the gantry. I'll swap out the motor on the Z-axis for, for the new one. Um, I'll try to build it right here so that uh, it's as best seen as possible. And then once it's mounted, I will kind of go over... Um, well, we'll see if it works at all, and then we'll go over the build. All right, so I'll flip it over to uh, time lapse just to speed things up, and we'll get started on it. have that all installed now um, so this is what it, it looks like finished so this is the inductive sensor for the limit switch um, so it actually trips uh, it's hard to see in there um, but it trips off of the ball nut as it comes up to home um, overall I have 167 millimeters of Z height travel um, so that allows me to bring the uh, spindle up and as you can see, even with the bit uh, in there, I the bit is clear of the bottom uh, here. So one of my biggest issues I had was when I started playing with the rotary tool, um, the bit clearance when I was set up was pretty bad um, because of the way that I had it mounted on the Ultimate B. I really didn't, I was pretty worried I was gonna smash the end mill uh, into the rotary or I wasn't going to be able to use very big stock and as you can see now I can clear the entire rotary tool which is awesome so I don't have to worry about the bit or the z-axis colliding with it so that part is is really good um, overall I like the design uh, it looks pretty pretty good um, I was able to reuse the cable chain holder and um, I'll get that mounted and cleaned up a little bit. But I think overall, I'm very happy with this. So what it is, and in the time lapse, there's a plate, an adapter plate that goes onto the um, x-axis gantry that is mounted with the, uh, what is that, eight bolts um, that are threaded on this plate. So there's eight bolts going from this plate into here. And then this plate extends this gantry plate so that the print CNC, uh, sorry, the print NC um, Z axis plate and mounting holes all line up. Originally I had kind of designed, this is the original one that I painted and, and did some stuff with, but as I started to mount it, uh, what I had done is I trunk everything and made it so that it would mount, um, directly to that x-axis plate but the problem was and i didn't realize this in cad but the tolerances are so narrow between the blocks the rail blocks and the uh, ball nut that by moving it in just just that much um the it wouldn't clear anymore <laughs> so what was happening was the uh it would go up and it would start colliding um, because the blocks were too close uh, these blocks were too close to the uh, um, to the bearing block for the ball screw. 
So anyway, uh, I liked their design um, and I figured this way, if there are improvements and everything else that, you know, you just reuse this plate and you could mill a new uh, print NC plate or use any of their customizations or things that they uh, come up with um, as part of their open source project. So what I may look to do is simply recreate this adapter plate um, to replace this X plate. So what I could do is directly mount the uh, this plate onto here um, and just do away with this plate altogether. I would just need to come up with similar how they've mounted the uh, ball screw. It basically would just be three bolts in the side of this plate. Um, so I'll play with that for now, but right now I'm, I'm very happy with how it works. It runs very smoothly. Um, all in all, I'm... I'm quite happy. It's it's very like if you look at the linear bearings, uh, rail bearings. It's it's pretty crazy how how different they are. So this is the uh, the ultimate B and its blocks, um, and this is the one on the uh, print NC. Uh, so they're just really much beefier rails. It's probably slightly overkill um, for sure. So. I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm also going to play with my other um, Z-axis modification um, that reuses more of the Ultimate B parts. But for right now, I have a couple projects to do, and I'm hoping to cut them with the new uh, Z-axis installed. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, get some test cuts done and whatnot. Um, but yeah, very happy with this. I will uh, play with it and see how the plywood holds up. Uh, obviously, I will be looking to, um, once I settle on a design I'm, I'm happy with, uh, given the price of aluminum, I don't want to do it too many times, uh, but I will look at machining some aluminum parts, uh, hopefully with this exact setup. So like I said, I'll get some test cuts done um, and playing around with it a bit more. I got to get the machine and the bed and tools cleaned up here uh, before I can really use it. Uh, but overall, I would say this is a success, and I'm, I'm very happy with how it looks and how it turned out. I'm a little disappointed that my uh, all my time and effort painting painting those didn't really pan out, um, and uh, I kind of ran out of patience and time to paint these, uh, so I just put them on. Um, yeah, we'll see how they hold up. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask. Bye for now.